Once upon a time, my parents were here, uh, there was an open fire and uh, used to draw that fast, it would lift the carpet and uh, the door used to howl as it sucked the air in. And we put up with that for some years. My wife and I were away uh, traveling, we went traveling in Asia for a few months and uh, while we were away the uh, stove was installed. So it was a particularly cold winter and when we came back our lives were transformed. For once in my life, the house is warm. And since then, 2010, we've lived a much better standard. <laughs> in the morning, because of livestock in, in the winter, there's always livestock to feed, cattle and, and uh, chickens, pigs. And then uh, there are vegetables to pick for the farm shop. Uh, it might be getting wood for the fire, fencing, uh, all manner of things, some time spent in the office, no two days are the same. Livestock are always a problem because they have a mind of their own. <laughs> and I like that. I suppose it's something we've always done. It's the fact that we've always tended livestock and produced food. And so in that respect, I, I, I consider myself one of the chosen few. My favourite month is May. I think the, the year peaks in terms of beauty uh, and it only lasts, depending on the season, lasts a few days and it's when the chestnut candelabras are out, the may blossoms out and the keks coming out and everything is just in full tune. The birds are going flat out and everything is full of promise. Whenever it comes round, I just want it to last forever. And when those few days just pass, I think, oh, it's gone. It's gone again. I've got to wait another year. But it is so special. Uh, and to be savoured every second of it. And at the end of the day, you're absolutely bushed. And so that's the contrast to come in and uh, enjoy the fire, have a glass of wine. And you feel you really earned it. So that's the story of the Clearview. Uh, we adore it. <laughs>